Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Private Parts. Not to be confused with the Howard Stern movie of the same name, Private Parts is a 1972 horror film. It was directed by Paul Bartel, and according to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. I've been really excited to rewatch and review this one, because I love this movie. Admittedly, it's pretty sick. It's a bizarre film, in the best way possible. I'd also say this is probably still one of the most obscure movies on this Fangoria list, at least in the top 10 maybe even top five. At the time this book was released, Private Parts was lost on VHS. This DVD release came after. At this point, it's long out of print, and Private Parts has yet to get a Blu-ray release, which is a shame. Even with it getting a release on DVD, even for only a short period of time, Private Parts is a movie that no one ever talks about. It's about a young girl named Cheryl, who was a teenage runaway. Up until this point, she has been living with her friend Judy in her apartment in Los Angeles. But when the two have a falling out, Cheryl needs to find a new place to live. That's when she moves into the King Edward Hotel, owned by her aunt and uncle. Her uncle, though, has since passed away, leaving Cheryl's Aunt Martha in charge. Aunt Martha agrees to let Cheryl stay but she seems overly protective of the girl. I guess she has good reason, though. There are a lot of strange individuals staying there. Seriously, some of these characters seem like they are straight out of a fever dream. Cheryl takes special interest in a man named George, who also takes special interest in Cheryl. He's a photographer who enjoys watching Cheryl. Cheryl knows he's watching her, in fact and Cheryl watches George watching her. Along with all of his photography equipment and nude pictures on the walls, George also has a blow-up doll in his room. He becomes so infatuated with Cheryl that he prints out a photo of her face and sticks it on the doll. He then fills it up with water and, well, I'll let you use your imagination. Meanwhile, guests and visitors at the hotel are being killed off one by one. But who is the mysterious murderer? With all of the bizarre individuals at the King Edward Hotel, it could be anyone. Is it George, the creeping, peeping photographer? Is it the old woman who keeps calling Cheryl Alice? Is it the reverend who enjoys wearing biker leather in his downtime? Or is it someone else entirely? The irony is, the body count isn't even the most interesting thing about private parts. This is definitely a unique movie. The characters alone make it worth the watch. Especially Cheryl. I always thought she had an awkward cuteness to her. Maybe even more especially interesting is George, and the actor who played him was phenomenal. Aunt Martha is played by Lucille Benson, who also played Mrs. Elrod in Halloween 2. The hotel setting is run down and atmospheric. The movie has that gritty, almost grindhouse 70s feel. We also get some gratuitous nudity, including from the lovely Cheryl herself. The real gut punch in this one, though, is the twist. The big reveal is like a kick in the crotch. Or, I guess I should say, a kick in the private parts. Private parts is the perfect example of movies that belong on this list. I absolutely agree with Fangoria that it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. Because truthfully, other than Jason, I don't know anyone else who has seen it. It's worth seeking this one out, guys. It was so ahead of its time. Trust me. I also recommend a movie I've discussed quite often on my channel, The Killer of Dolls. 
This is the perfect relatable recommendation for private parts. And spoiler alert, I believe Jason is recommending it too. We both feel it has the same sort of obscurity as private parts. And it also is just as underrated, if not more. Both movies also feature a bizarre dude with an obsession with dolls. If you still haven't seen this movie, do yourself a favor and check out The Killer of Dolls. But be sure to check out Private Parts as well, and that sounds funny. All jokes aside though, watch this movie if you can. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What's up next in the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.